Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can read the text version of this quiz. Now we have started a new channel, Civil Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. That means the link of GK Today Academy app, link of Telegram channel as well as the link of the Civil Academy channel is given in the description box. Apart from that, yesterday the full detailed video of September month has been uploaded. So you can check that for your revision. Now let's start. So first question is which e-commerce giant has launched a new fulfillment center in Tamil Nadu? So it has been launched by Amazon. So with this new center, more and more products, applications and furniture can be stored in this storage and fulfillment center in Tamil Nadu. Now, Amazon was also in news because of Alexa. Alexa is the digital assistant of Amazon and recently Amazon decided to partner with Amitabh Bachchan to provide voiceover for Alexa. Recently Amitabh Bachchan was also in news as RBI partnered with him to spread awareness. Recently Amazon was also in news as it acquired Zoox. Zoox is a self-driving car company. Next question is which public sector organization has signed with Ministry of Power and set its target for year 2022-2021. So NTPC has signed with Power Ministry. So the new targets were fixed for next year and these are 340 BU of electricity generation and 15 MMT of coal production. Now coming back to NTPC, it is National Thermal Power Corporation. It is a public sector undertaking and the headquarters is in New Delhi and presently Gurdeep Singh is the new chairperson and MD of NTPC. Next question is which technology company has launched a campaign named Make Small Strong? So this has been launched by Google. Name of the campaign is Make Small Strong. The idea is to support small business. So this campaign intends to encourage the people to buy local products and to promote their favorite retailers by posting reviews. So based on those reviews, more and more people will get to know about these local retailers and that is how the local products will be promoted. So the name of campaign is Make Small Strong. Idea is to promote small businesses and initiative is by Google. Next question is Niti Aayog signed statement of intent with embassy of which country on decarbonization and energy transition agenda. So what is the meaning of this term decarbonization that means less carbon emission. So for this purpose, India has signed agreement with Netherlands to create new technological solutions for cleaner energy so that we can reduce the carbon emission. Now recently, Netherlands was also in news because of Vodafone issue. So Vodafone recently won a case in International Arbitration Tribunal. And this was a case in which India was demanding approximately $2 billion tax from Vodafone. Apart from that, India was also demanding interest and penalties on this. So overall, it was a matter of approximately $3.79 billion. And therefore, Vodafone approached International Tribunal. And now the International Tribunal have given the verdict in the favor of Vodafone. So as per the tribunal argument, this was a breach of investment treaty between India and Netherlands. Recently, Vodafone was also in news as Vodafone and Idea have rebranded themselves as VI. Next question is, which supersonic cruise missile with indigenous boosters has been successfully tested? So this is BrahMos missile. This has been successfully tested. Actually, a new version of surface-to-surface -surface supersonic cruise missile of BrahMos has been tested. Now, there is a term surface to surface. That means it will be launched from surface and it will attack on the surface. Then there is air to air. So it will be launched from air and it will hit the target in air itself. Then surface to air and air to surface. Similarly, there are different possibilities. Now, coming back to BrahMos. So first, it is a supersonic cruise missile and it can be launched from submarine. It can be launched from SIP aircraft or land that means it can be launched from any medium and it is the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world and this is a collaboration that means this BrahMos is a collaboration between Russia and India from Indian side DRDO 
is playing the key role. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research and Development Organization. So the name of Brahmos is from the name of two rivers. It is Brahmaputra River and Moskova River of Russia. Brahmaputra River of India and Moskova of Russia. Next question is, which country announced to impose a gradual ban on using wild animals in circuses? So this was announced by France. Now, please note that this ban does not apply to the wild animals in other permanent shows and in zoo. That means in zoo, they can keep these wild animals, but the ban will be gradually applied on the circus. That means in circus, you will not be able to use wild animals. So this is related to France. Recently, France was also in news because of Rafale. France was also in news because India decided to get hammer missiles from France. Apart from that, France recently drafted a resolution to reduce the peacekeeping forces in Lebanon. Apart from this resolution, one more resolution of United Nations Security Council was in news and it was drafted by Indonesia and it was co-sponsored by India. What was the objective of this resolution by Indonesia? Objective was to increase the women's participation in the peacekeeping forces. It is important to note that recently, India was elected as the non-permanent member of United Nations Security Council. So there are five permanent members and 10 non-permanent members which are elected for two years. Now answer in comment box whether a member whose tenure is ending this year can be re-elected immediately. Next question is, Sheikh Nawaf has been sworn in as the Amir of which Gulf country? Right answer is Kuwait. So recently, the previous ruler of Kuwait passed away. He was Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmad Al Jaber Al Sabah. So now, Sheikh Nawaf has been sworn in as the new ruler of Kuwait. Recently, Kuwait was also in news because of new diamond VLCC. What is VLCC? It is very large crude carrier. So this was a crude oil carrier and this was carrying the crude oil for Paradeep refinery. So it was getting the oil from Kuwait to India for this Paradeep refinery and in the midway it caught fire. That is why it was in use. So the name of VLCC that means the name of this crude oil carrier was New Diamond. It was getting the oil for Paradeep refinery and it was getting the oil from Kuwait. Now, this Paradeep refinery is on the eastern coast of India and it is in the state of Odisha. Please note that this is situated on the confluence of Mahanadi and Bay of Bengal. So it is on the confluence of Mahanadi and on the Bay of Bengal. Since it is on the confluence of Bay of Bengal, obviously it is on the eastern side of India. Next question is, which organization has been selected as the co-runner-up of United States Citizen Diplomacy Award? So this is a non-governmental organization and the name of this organization is Segal Foundation. It has been selected as the co-runner-up of Citizen Diplomacy Award. Now this award is given to recognize the efforts by the citizens and organizations to strengthen the foreign policy of USA around the world. Now the Segal Foundation works in the field of human rights and it works in the field of women empowerment and it is a non-governmental organization. The headquarters is in Gurugram in Haryana. Recently there was one more non-governmental organization which was in news and it is Amnesty International. So recently it decided to close its operations in India. The headquarters of Amnesty is in London. Amnesty International also works in the field of human rights. Recently, it was in news because of FCRA violations. Now answer in comment box, what is FCRA? In which year this was enacted and which is the nodal ministry for implementation of FCRA? Next question is, which company has started exploration of Kolar gold fields after 16 years? So MECL, that is Mineral Exploration Corporation Limited, has started the exploration of Kolar gold fields in Karnataka. This MECL is a PSU under Ministry of Mines. Actually, there was a dispute related to Bharat Gold Mines Limited and that is why the exploration was stopped. Now, the exploration has started after 16 years and it has been started by Mineral Exploration Corporation of India. This Kolar Gold Field is in Karnataka. Recently, 
Karnataka was also in news because of its new IT policy for 2022-2025. Karnataka was also in news because of first RORO service of Southwestern Railways. What is RORO? It is Roll On, Roll Off. So the first RORO service of Southwestern Railways was started from Nela Mangla in Karnataka to Solapur in Maharashtra. Next question is Aspirational District Program is an initiative of which organization? So it is an initiative of Niti Aayog. The objective is to ensure the development of most backward districts of our country. And for that purpose, this program has been started by Niti Aayog. Now what is Niti Aayog? Niti Aayog is an executive body. That means neither it is mentioned in the constitution of India nor it is constituted by any law. So it has been constituted by an executive action. That's why it is an executive authority. And it is the successor of Planning Commission. The full form of Niti Aayog is National Institution for Transforming India. The headquarters is in New Delhi. It is important to note that Prime Minister is the ex officio chairperson of Niti Aayog. Ex officio means whosoever is going to be the Prime Minister, by default, that person will be the chairperson of Niti Aayog. Presently, vice chairperson is Dr. Rajiv Kumar and CEO is Amitabh Kant. Next question is, what is the new ideal weight for adult Indian man as per the National Institute of Nutrition? So now, the new ideal weight for adult has been changed from 60 kg to 65 kg. For women, it has been changed from 50 kg to 55 kg. So recently, the National Institute of Nutrition has revised these key indicators. Now, this National Institute of Nutrition is under ICMR that is Indian Council of Medical Research and recently ICMR was in news as Dr. Harshwadhan who is our present health minister released the 100 years of timeline of ICMR. ICMR is serving the nation since 1911. Now this National Institute of Nutrition also revised the definition of Indian adult. So now those who are from 19 to 39 will be considered as adult. Previously from 20 to 39 were in the category of adult. Next question is, which company has proposed to invest in the retail arm of Reliance? So this company is General Atlantic. This is going to invest in the retail arm of Reliance. Previously, it invested in Geo. Apart from that, recently Silver Lake also invested in Reliance Retail. Silver Lake was also in news because of its investment in Baiju. Recently, Baiju was in news because of its campaign education for all. Next question is, what is the name of initiative by Defense Ministry to identify innovations created by the Indian Armed Forces personnel? So the name of this initiative is IDX for 4 g So this initiative was recently launched by Defense Minister. Now, recently, few other initiatives were also launched. So first thing first, what exactly is IDX? This is an initiative of Department of Defense Production and it was launched in 2018. The idea is to create an ecosystem for innovation in the defense sector. And this initiative is executed by Defense Innovation Organization. Now this IDX 4G is a component of this IDX. So in IDX for 4G, we are going to consider the innovative ideas by Indian Armed Forces personnel. Apart from that, Defense Minister also launched DISC, that is Defense India Startup Challenge. And this has been launched in collaboration with Atal Innovation Mission. This Atal Innovation Mission is an initiative of Niti Aayog. So under this challenge, the objective is to support the startups and MSME to create new products in the field of defense and security. Next question is, India is, is to set up a high level monitoring committee with which country to review the projects implemented with LOC provided by India. Here LOC means line of credit. So this country is Bangladesh. And for that purpose, a high level monitoring committee will be set up. Now what exactly is this LOC? It is line of credit. That means it is a soft loan. What is the meaning of soft loan? It means the interest rate will be lower. So it is a loan with a concessional interest rate. That means you are providing concession or discount on the interest rate. So to review the projects for which India has provided line of credit to Bangladesh, 
a high level monitoring committee will be set up recently bangladesh was also in news as vikram dorai swami has been appointed as india's next high commissioner to bangladesh so these were the most important questions of today's quiz now we are going to cover important news feel free to skip it if you do not like the format so first news is related to tal aviv and it is going to be the first city in the world with electric roads so these roads will have charging facility and the public transport buses can charge on these roads so these are wireless electric roads and the name of city is tal aviv so this is going to be the first city in the world with electric roads that charge public buses how that will be done see this system will have a set of copper coils and these will be placed under the asphalt of street that means under the cover of road material these copper coils will be placed and the vehicle whenever the vehicle is going to drive over this road it will charge automatically next is no mask no ride campaign so this is a campaign started by the sangli district of maharashtra so it has been started by the sangli police the idea is to encourage people to wear mask and if anyone is not wearing mask they will not be allowed to use the public transport maharashtra was also in news as recently savitri bai phule university decided to set up a center for study in maratha history so this savitri bai phule university is in maharashtra next is nia so it is national investigation agency it is under mha why it was in news recently because mha sanctioned three additional branches of nia mha is ministry of home affairs so three additional branches are going to be in imphal chennai and in ranchi it is important to note that nia was constituted after the 2611 terror attack in the mumbai so it is a statutory body and it is a counter terrorism law enforcement agency it is under mha headquarters is in new delhi recently it was in news because three new centers will be set up in imphal chennai and ranchi next is sanitation literacy campaign so this is a campaign started by nabard and it was started in karnataka nabard is national bank for agriculture and rural development and this will be started to promote wash what is wash it is water sanitation and hygiene next is first bank to enable document embedding feature on sfms so idbi became the first bank to enable this document embedding feature on sfms what is sfms it is structured financial messaging system and for that purpose idbi has developed a new platform it is i connect sfms next is pata grand awards so pata stands for pacific asia travel association so these awards are given in three categories one is marketing one is sustainability third is human capital so this award is given in three categories in marketing it was given to kerala that means in marketing category india won this award in sustainability category thailand won this award and in human capital category china won this award next is shanti swarup patnagar prize these awards are given by csir that is council of scientific and industrial research and these are given for science and technology recently csir celebrated its foundation day on 26th of september next is dalai khurshani so it is from sikkim recently it was in news as for this product gi tag request was submitted to dp iit that is department for promotion of industry and internal trade so it is a product from sikkim and it is a variety of pepper what is gi tag it is geographical indication next is dr gs amur so he was well known writer and critic he passed away recently he used to write in kannada and in english so that was all for the day thank you